Good evening, everyone. I welcome you all to another episode of Akash Live webinar series. Thank you so much for taking our time to join us for today's discussion. I'm your host, Suruchi, English faculty at Akash Institute. And in today's session, we are going to discuss all that you need to know before you start your preparation for NTSC examination. Now, first of all, before I begin today's session, I would like to really thank you all for giving us a phenomenal response for the previous webinars. I know for those listeners who have joined us today, if you really want to see the previous webinars, you can see the link. You can visit the links given in the description box. And also, if you really want to be up to date with the upcoming schedule as well, please click on the bell icon and subscribe to our channel and keep yourself up to date. Now, everybody has heard so much about NTSC exam, the National Talent Search exam organized by NCERT. However, not many of us know exactly the details of the same. Like if you honestly look at all the class 9th and 10th students who are aspiring to become NTSC scholars, they don't really have a clear cut idea with respect to what is the paper about, how to go about preparing for the same, what are the syllabus requirements, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So to put all those queries to rest, we've come together to help you plan your preparation for this year's attempt. Now, like I said, we have heard so much about it, but who obviously would give us a better picture rather than our experts, right? So I have brought back with me the two of our experts who we've really enjoyed interacting with in the previous webinar. Let's hear from our experts today and learn a bit more about this exam, how to really plan our preparation strategy, what are the best methods for maximizing our performance, and those subject-wise tips that we all need for our mat and sat preparation. So let's welcome our guests one by one. Firstly, I would like to welcome Vivek sir. Vivek sir has been obviously played a very significant role for all our students in all these years. As a National Academic Director for Foundations at AESL, he has played a pivotal role in shaping so many engineering aspirants over past two decades. I would really like to welcome Vivek sir and thank you for taking out time for participating in today's discussion. Good evening, Suruchi ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Really, it's a great time because when you talk about the word NTSC, I always feel like, yes, this is one examination where maximum number of students participate at this stage. And really, many of the other ones are actually not aware. And if they are aware, I'm sure many others are going to give a great time to even those who are already ready to write it down. So, yes, we are here to serve on that point. Thank you so much for calling me. Absolutely, sir. You've correctly, I guess, given the light of direction to all our listeners today. Our second guest is Dheeraj Mishra, sir, Regional Director, South Zone at AESL, who also has been mentoring our students for past 10 years, especially in acing their medical exam preparation. His expertise has really helped so many of our students to pursue their dreams to become actual sort of successful students that we give examples of, right? So thank you, Zirat, sir, for being part of today's discussion. Thank you, Suruchi, ma'am. And uh, good evening to all the students and all of our viewers of today's program. And uh, we have been very, very excited because we know the rush of NTSC inside you. And I, I believe truly as a mentor, as a teacher, that we all, we as a student, all want to appear in this examination. And believe me, we all want to crack it. So we are here with a lot of knowledge and wisdom that how you can be the NTSC qualifier with the your regular efforts. Absolutely, sir. I think this pretty much sets the agenda clear for all of our listeners today. Before we even jump into the details of the exam, I would just like to throw in a curious question to all our listeners today. If you guys know about NTSC exam, do you have the right set of details about it? All those of you who are listening to me would definitely drop in their messages in the chat box. Also with the queries that you have with the exam preparation, 
keep sending in your questions and we'll be taking them one by one over the course of discussion. Let's start our today's discussion by talking about the details of the scholarship exam. What is NTSC exam all about? What is this scholarship? It's syllabus and paper pattern. One by one, we are going to break it down for you so that this becomes a lot more smoother in your understanding. So Vivek sir, this is where I like to bring you in and please shed the light on details of this scholarship exams so that all our eager listeners can take down those effective pointers and begin their preparation for the same. Sure. In fact, when you ask that details of NTSC, I'm sure this is going to take entire hour. But <laughs> let me make some crisp points on it. First of all, when you talk about NTSC, it is divided into two parts. Stage one, stage two. Most of us are aware of it. The only difference when you talk about stage one, this is state level. Stage two, this is national level. When I say state level and national level, here comes a huge difference between the two methods. State level is not only the thing that the state is conducting it. Dear students, please remember, the syllabus is also what state board is following. That's important key. Whether you ninth standard, 10th standard, just note it down and start preparing accordingly. Now, when you say state level, so is it really different from NCRT, CBSE? Not exactly in all parts. I'm sure we will be taking up these questions little, little later. DSA will also be adding on, on this point that how different subjects behave. So keeping this question aside because it's going to be very bigger one otherwise. Next, questions. Yes, there are two papers in each stage, whether stage one or stage two, each paper is of two hours. Now, again, there is a variety across the states. Some states take four hours test altogether. Some of the states take two hours paper, then break off two hours, then two hours paper. So what you need to do, please ensure, go through the entire information provided by the state board in this regard for your state level examination. Different states follow different ways. Someone starting at 9.30 till 11.30 first paper, then 1.30 to 3.30 second paper. And some of the states are saying 9.30 to 1.30 straight four hours paper. 100 questions set, 100 questions met. That's the total structure. So this is broad outline, one point. Stage two, yes, stage two is national level. So yes, two papers are there again in the similar manner, but different difficulty level is different. Questions, syllabus is little different. So that we will talk about again a little later. So this is another difference. Correct. So two points are clear, the pattern wise, difficulty level wise, and the syllabus wise. Now, how to write this examination, how to enroll yourself for this examination, important point. NTSC, in fact, you if you want to enroll yourself, you have to go through your school. I have heard that many of the students say, sir, my school is not taking POM. Sir, my school is not conducting this thing. But it is not fact. You just go to your school administration, school principal, sir, ma'am, and just ask, you want to write this an examination. Mm -hmm. They will collect the form from you and they will send it to a regional local licensing officer. Mm -hmm. And then you would be enrolled. That's the way for stage one. How, for, how to do it for stage two? Leave it later. For now, focus on stage one. Another important point, timing. Yeah. Slavers. Total slavers, as I said, ninth and tenth state level, timing. Yeah, even before last year, before this pandemic problem, it used to be conducted in the month of November, first week of November. But last year, due to pandemic problem, it was delayed. It was spread over a period of two months time across different states. Some of the states conducted on 13 December, as early as early 13 December, and few went till 28th of February. Different Sundays, different dates for different states. This year, again, the similar situation is expected. But I will say you continue considering it would be conducted somewhere in the first week of December and prepare yourself accordingly. Otherwise, if you think on it, 
okay my exam may be in february and if date comes in december you would be short by two months and which is not at all required Yes, syllabus of ninth is also required to be revised. We'll be talking about again about this point little later, right? So th this is broad outline for this page. Absolutely correct, sir. I think you pretty much uh, well laid out the paper pattern, the types of questions, especially because MCQ is itself being incorporated even in CBSE's own paper pattern. So I think this is going to be one of the key agendas for our students also, how they would like to talk more about preparing for MCQ. This is where I'd like to bring in Dheerat, sir, to give a little bit more detail with respect Respect to syllabus of NTSC because I have queries coming from Aradhya, I have queries coming from Utkarsh and all these students of us are actually talking about how there is no prescribed syllabus for NTSC, right? So when students really think about preparing for a scholarship exam where there is no prescribed syllabus, which are those areas that they have to identify and let's talk about it sectionally because like I, like Vivek sir pointed out it's a whole lot of syllabus to cover so we are going to take the first section and Dheerat sir if you could begin by talking about the syllabus areas of mental ability first let's just clarify doubts related to that and then move to SAT preparation. Dheerat sir what do you have to talk right. about with respect to MAT syllabus? So yeah before just I begin with the MAT discussion I think just to extension to what Vivek sir said mm -hmm. that the entire DSC, uh, all the students here, we need to understand that if you go with the normal pretext of the November first week, so we are somewhere left with say three months time period for the preparation of this examination. So the understanding of the syllabus, how Vivek sir has explained the area, the division of questions and the further weightage what we are going to discuss. So as a student, first of all, I think you need to understand the complete scheme of the examination altogether before you jump in for the preparation because I have seen personally many of the students, they start preparation, but maybe after a certain time period, they are lost because they have not decided that what all I will be reading or covering for the NTSC examination. True. Because as you said, uh, Suruchi ma'am, that uh, some of the students are asking that the board and the an NTSC examination. So this is an exam which is before the board. So mm -hmm. I suggest that the discussion which we are having, the first part of our discussion is the planning, understanding the syllabus, how it is broken down, how much time I should give, what all chapters are there, how the complete syllabus is designed for me. So because you see NTSC, when the government started this program, the complete theme of NTSC was to find the talent in the science stream across India. So this is a very, very high stake examination, a very prestigious examination in India, which is conducted at a level class 10th. So if we are not organized, if we are not understanding that what is the pattern of the exam, then we may lose the interest or the line and length after a certain part of time. So as Vivek sir said that it has got two parts, that's a mat and the sad. Now mat comes a very, very interesting area because this is something very additional, which you are going to study apart from your regular syllabus of class 10th. But if I say to you the mat syllabus designing and the help of the mat. So mat, the complete concept of the mat is to widen your thought process, widen your response to the problems which are unseen. For example, in biology, what happens? We read one concept, we see one diagram and then there is a question. But in mat, that doesn't happen. So there are certain patterns over which questions will come. So this is the examination, I believe which will prepare you, the subject of the mat will prepare you even for the future examination. It will increase your skill set of handling the problems right in the beginning. Now, when we come to the mat, mat, I suggest cannot be prepared towards the end of the preparation because the syllabus and the number of questions weightage is 50%, questions are 100 there. So this requires constant preparation. And when I say constant, what you need to do in the mat make 30 minutes timetable for the mat on daily basis. That 30 minutes, I will be doing mat practice every day. Then only after three months, you will be comfortable in the mat part. Now, while attempting the mat paper, there are various patterns of the questions which come there. Now you need to identify in the mat, 
that what all are the easy topics for me maybe say mirror image concept water image questions which are coming they are very easy to take up where you can fetch good marks in the beginning then you may go with the series kind of questions which are coming in the non verbal reasoning part of the math and then you may go with the mathematical puzzle type questions and the paragraph type questions so there are two important approaches to you in the math first of all fix daily schedule for the math for example if you are doing the practice of venn diagram then practice maximum here in the venn diagram what happens that when we practice over the math we start practicing from the day one over mixed sort of questions so we are not able to develop the full length concept so if you are working over the venn diagram let's do some questions 50 100 odd questions of venn diagram so that you develop the confidence the moment you see that question in the exam hall you know that this is my forte i can do it same thing goes with the series questions if you are doing the series questions practice some questions rather than doing the mixing from the beginning so dedicate a time practice some questions over each pattern of the non verbal reasoning and the mathematical part and the paragraph based questions which are there in the mat same approach adopt in the exam hall also examination many of the student in the mat they begin from question number 1 to the end don't do that identify the areas where you are strong and then you can do that jumping here and there in the paper where you take up the easy puzzles easy problems early in the math so math is a little bit tricky subject to handle for you but i am very much confident that if you are planned if you are taking math as a important part of your longer journey sometimes we get bored with the math in the beginning but this is very very interesting subject very interesting subject you want to make career in any field in the future i am going to tell you this math will be very very helpful for you so this is the initial tip which i want to add for the math i would like to say uh, on this point to dheera sir there are two important points when i try to summarize most of the things are like what they need to study how they can define the order that's really very important and useful point which you mentioned now two interesting facts which you added one was like every student should study for 30 minutes mental ability now that's a twisting point i believe that most of the students would be thinking we have hardly studied mental ability and you are asking for 30 minutes daily practice yes that's actually key because as you said this is really the one of the interesting subjects secondly it's not part of the syllabus it's like you are just reading a good story you are just trying to uh, plan like what else you can do across the day you can count it that way because solving questions of mental ability is just like playing sudoku nothing different i'm sure it's going to help you in uh, concentrating more i must say focusing more on studies for the entire day really really that's important tip secondly when you talk about mental ability different topics most of the states have similar questions similar topics i should say not questions similar topics but there are certain states where some additional topics are there and those state students should also focus on those questions for example when you talk about delhi out of 100 nearly 40% questions are based on quant these questions are more inclined toward mathematics trigo part is there quadratic is there polynomial is there that means delhi students should prepare on these points as well similarly when you talk about tamil nadu tamil nadu also includes approx 15 20 questions on quant but towards quantitative part like analysis part like ratio proportion theorem etc so those questions are very much mixed in that part mm-hmm. west bengal nearly 30% questions are coming from the segment similarly so you need to consider it as i have mentioned earlier also previous years papers are always important in every part webinar every time i used to say please remember best strategy for preparing for any examination first you know what is required mm. or your state what is required so these are additional points which you cannot afford to miss when you are talking about ntc 
So I think just Vivek sir, what you said, I just want to maybe put one point to the students that let's take if you are in any of the state, let's take the previous year papers, and what do you do for the coming week? Let's let's think that you are going to start your preparation from Independence Day because that's a historic day for us as a country and for you maybe as a preparation of the NTSC. So if you are launching your preparation from 15th August. my suggestion is that for 2 to 3 days let's take previous year papers just read them like a comics Brilliant. first understand don't solve it we actually start want to perform from the day one not needed yes. just let's take three question papers or four question papers of previous years in the night while going to the bed or whenever you are free let's just go through by them let's understand what vivek sir said that that makes a sense that that will impart further state specific focus in your preparation hmm. perfect also what i think this helps students to visualize is that the larger aim of this paper this scholarship exam is to build that aptitude in you that very aspect of how you think how you process information how you apply so no better subject than mental ability to try that out right so let's take dheerat sir's advice into cognizance and let's just do it like a puzzle itself so let's take if i take ashani's question her very concern was please suggest tips or tricks to specially work on number series similarly arnav had also raised a concern regarding quantitative aptitude so i think now listening to all the steps which sir have really guided us about i'm sure you guys will be able to formulate a plan of action with respect to mental ability first and now let's further break down similar methods even for the second part of our exam which is scholastic aptitude test now for sat let's hear it out from vivek sir again how this particular section obviously comprises physics chemistry maths bio and social science so for each subject you need a different level of perception let's hear from sir what are the requirements for preparation in sat vivek sir the floor is all set for you please go ahead yeah so as we are all aware now how to plan for mental ability mm -hmm. now set which comprises these many subjects as you mentioned physics chemistry bio maths and social science mm -hmm. so we need to understand how these are different in state board and cbsc or icsc the syllabus overall is containing 9th and 10th broadly but as i mentioned in the beginning please ensure before you start preparation you should go through the notification of your state board site if this year's notification which is not out yet you can check last year's also that will also help to give an example in gujarat it was mentioned like they will be taking up up to the first part only that is half part of 10th and 9th only so they get clear guidance also sometimes at some of the points otherwise broadly mentioned 9th and 10th syllabus would be there now let's talk about state board and cbsc icsc everything there may be a difference in the names but broadly when you talk about physics chemistry bio and mathematics topics are more or less similar you will not find much difference in cbse curriculum state board curriculum possibility of 10% topic deviation is there like cbse has sources of energy some of the states are not having this one some have solar system like in maharashtra so some small topics may be there which you need to know and prepare accordingly but again moving on to the same point 9th and 10th when you take broadly it is aligned with your board preparation whichever board you have opted for cbse icsc state board mm -hmm. next this is about physics chemistry bio mathematics next important thing in these subjects itself different states have different difficulty level while the questions are being asked i have seen questions directly line by line from the state book that means with every line create one question like we have micro assignment 
every line gives one question just you need to understand so does it mean that you have to study every line of state board in addition to cbsc no i'm not saying that syllabus it's similar for the additional topics you have to go through undoubtedly if you have to mark get maximum possible score so that's important different states may have different difficulty level another important aspect especially talking about haryana all states give questions like physics chemistry bio mathematics social science in order in haryana for last two years what kind of pattern is being observed questions are jumbled first question is of maths second is from physics third may be from chemistry or again maths so jumbling is there so a student has to focus on this part because it is a distraction in a way you can say mm-hmm. it reduces your efficiency takes more time yeah. have to be very careful have to practice accordingly so this kind of aspects should be known to you otherwise you can crack it last section this is about physics chemistry maths bio all four subjects now social science mm-hmm. it plays crucial role one of the most important i will say mental ability has 100 questions then social science has 40 questions and as mental ability is not part of your cbse curriculum or state board curriculum social science is the part of curriculum but this is from state board you are studying cbse curriculum icse curriculum questions would be from the state curriculum so you need to go through social science booklet of the state board perfectly that's very really important many of the states of north india you can say uh, most of the things are common like geography part you can say eco part political science that's similar but history and geography some segment you will find different when you move to western part maharashtra goa good sorry maharashtra gujarat you will find again the geography history entirely different mm. move to south tamil nadu karnataka again you will find a similar situation that means they want you to know local history mm. local geography for that what you need to study you have to study that booklet state board prescribed so social science only 40 questions most important if you can score 40 out of 40 you are going to make to the stage two because if you have done preparation of that level where you can crack 40 that means you can crack everything right what to do history geography social science economy these four parts 15 15 5 5 generally this is the ratio for 40 questions 15 from history 15 from geography 5 from polity 5 from eco in general so now you got the percentage ratio you got the weight is required for different parts mm. have to focus accordingly that's the key for set part okay. rest thing yes can be done comfortably and the last point on it when you are attempting the paper mm. mock paper or the final one don't try to start with maths mm. it will slow down your speed 100 questions are there which you have to attempt in 120 minutes have to be careful on this point also start with a subject which can be covered fast so that you can save more and more time and that will actually increase your efficiency and speed this from my thank you vivek sir for giving all those insights just to add a query from one of our students uh, i think kritika is the one who actually was facing trouble identifying where to procure the previous year papers from could you also give an insight where students can find these previous year papers are they readily available online or do they have to reach out to another let's say site or something like that yeah you can get it from akash website as well you just search for okay. jcp vcs question from akash you will find last 5 years state wise question papers uh, on this website akash website that's a brilliant resource sir thank you so much for pointing that out also now this is where dheeraj sir i have a query specifically from one of our students who 
was actually also giving a concern with respect to the syllabus part which Vivek sir just mentioned because so I was talking about how every state board has a different set of topics or favorite areas because CBSC has been incorporating so many changes in terms of rationalized syllabus for past two years right so our students are also concerned can this also bring about some change in NTSC syllabus? Will the NTSC paper be also based on rationalized syllabus or do they still have to wait for some of the other notification? What would you like to say to that, Dheerat, sir? Yeah, actually, that's a, maybe you can say the million dollar question which we all are waiting to get the answer that what will be the syllabus of the NTSC. But now I think the bigger question than that is the NTSC stage one examination, which usually gets conducted in the November first week. If it goes, then the student have to prepare for both the terms together by November, even for the rationalized labors also, if you see. And rationalization also what has been done, majority of the important concepts have already been covered in that syllabus of the term one and term two. So my suggestion to the students is that let's begin the journey with the term one defined syllabus over which you are working, finish it fast, begin your term two. Whatever syllabus CBSC has rationalized, term one and term two, at least try to finish it. And I believe by that time, NTSC will uh, give the circular and will explain that what all will be the syllabus for this examination. But if you are thorough with your term one and term two, I believe we will be able to cover 70, 80% of the preparation of the NTSC by that time. All right. So that answers Utkarsh's query clearly. You will have to wait till CBSC comes up with a notification. Till that time, I think focusing on your term one preparation would automatically align itself to your larger NTSC goal. So let's again build up on the same query because a lot of our students are pouring in messages with respect to how to balance our school exam preparation and NTSC together. So because even in the previous webinar, this is where I took Dheerat Sir's response to make sure that students are pacified to the core. Dheerat sir, kindly address even this part that school preparation and NTSC preparation are not really too different from one another. So let's just even help our students to learn how to balance them together. What do you have to say to that, Dheerat sir? Before right, I think that's starts, a... I will <laughs> add one point here. DSS yes. is also mentioning this point to all the students. When you are in 9th and 10th, this discipline whatever he's going to mention is going to help you in managing school and competitive exam it's not only for G e and neat because many of the students say whenever you talk about it you usually take it to J e and neat so dhira sir is categorically <laughs> mentioning this time to your you people so yes listen to him so thank you thank you vivek sir uh, for highlighting that uh, see ntsc exam preparation this is, this is very prestigious examination. First of all, why you want to give it, what you want to achieve through this examination. Everyone else is giving. That's why I am giving. Actually, that's not the whole objective of the NTSC exam. They are going to identify 2,000 students span India out of some 8-9 lakh students who are appearing. So this examination itself creates a lot of value in itself. right? So first of all, let's be clear that why you want to give this examination. I believe once this is clear that why I want to give and we will take up this query again towards the end. Now comes balancing it out. Now uh, luck is in your favor because your term one is also MCQ based, which you are going to appear soon and your NTSC is also MCQ based. So somewhere you see the alignment of the examination pattern is coming in the play. Now second thing is how to balance. Now for balancing, it cannot be 50-50 here for NTSC preparation because there are two additional things which are coming. One is the mat for you, which is additional. Another is the social science, which sir was discussing. Social studies, if you are in uh, CBSC, then obviously you need to study extra for the state board. So these two are the additional topics other than your routine topics of the term one. So my suggestion is that if you are really serious for NTSC preparation, you need to make a very defined timetable of the day. You cannot run with the pace, the pace school is teaching to you the way they are covering the concepts because they are focusing on the term one 
and you have to finish even term two also for your NTSC examination. So that means there has to be one clear cut calendar for you that by when I am going to finish my term one and when I am going to is make the complete calendar of three months that by two and a half months I am going to finish my syllabus. If I have to finish my term one in this one month time period, now let's do one breakdown of those chapters that when I'm going to finish my term one preparation and how many hours I need to give on daily basis, make a very strict timetable. I'm going, I'm telling you, you are preparing for one of the most sought after examination of this country. NTSC is valued even outside country also. This is, this is such an importance of this examination. So don't take it as a normal exam. If you are really serious for the NTSC, Let's be very disciplined in daily timetable because time left is less if we are starting right now our preparation. But this is possible even in these three months time also make a timetable for yourself where you should fix time that 20 minutes, 30 minutes, my 20 minutes, 30 minutes, my SST, which I'm going to cover and remaining time period, I will take up my term one preparation. Parallelly, I will do some practice. For example, I did one chapter of biology for my term one and maybe I will solve few more MCQs so that my NTSC preparation is also well taken care of. Second thing I will tell you this NTSC preparation is going to ensure your best score in term two because you have already covered it. So now after November what is left for you is all revision, revision and revision. So these three, these three months can change two things. One is your NTSC result. Second is your overall performance of the class 10. So I believe students that if you are planning it on a daily basis and few more questions were coming, I think we will take madam in the second part on today's discussion, these distractions, how to remain disciplined. But as a teacher, I am very much confident that three months daily timetable is sticking to it on any cost will give you dual advantage. Absolutely, sir. I think regularity is what everyone seeks right now. So I think sir's guidance has really helped all our listeners who were looking for this one golden rule. Just set a timetable for us that we can follow. But I think the point he's trying to make is nobody else can set this timetable for you, right? You have to identify your priorities based on tasks list, right? So for those of you who missed out that part of our discussion, even in our previous webinar, check it out and see that the idea of making a timetable is based on identifying your strengths and weaknesses accordingly divided. That is exactly where I would like to bring in our next query, which we have also received from students and I think this is something everybody is looking for in terms of a straight answer that sir what kind of books should we refer to for NTSC preparation so Vivek sir do we have like a one straight jacketed answer that are there any like specific names which these children can use up for referencing for NTSC or do they have to go back to the previous year papers what's the ideal way to go about it sir as I shared previously, also the same point I'll ask, say again, uh, you have to go through the previous year's papers in order to understand the requirement, the difficulty level, the syllabus segment. Uh, you can, students can see in the chat box, we have shared the links where they can find all previous year's papers. M many of the states are already covered in that. So this is one thing. Second, Whatever syllabus is there in CBSE or state board for science and maths, that is going to help you 100%. Question papers are not that difficult. Don't worry. Third, as Dheera sir clearly mentioned about the timetable. Now, when you have this, these many resources, your state board book, that means equivalent to CBSE also. If your board is CBSE for physics, chemistry, maths, bio, that is science and maths part. For social science, you have to study extra state board books, undoubtedly. So this, these are the key books. Other than it, yes, you can join the test series and can get yourself checked whether you are really prepared for this same or not. So these are the key points. I would like to add one thing to Dira Sir's quote, like he was talking about how to manage the time and has to understand, every student has to understand this reality that their board examination, the final term that is term two is scheduled a little later, but they have to prepare completely even before the term one. This is actually highlighting fact. 
and if they prepare accordingly don't worry every student is on the same page so it's not like you have to create pressure on yourself you can do that yes what you have to take care of of your minutes i always say time is not wasted in hours it's being wasted in minutes you take care of your minutes these minutes will take care of your hours don't worry now how it is being wasted when you complete anything uh, you study something for one hour and you start break you sit in front of tv you take mobile etc just for 10 minutes time when you sit there for 10 minutes time sometimes you waste more than 20 minutes more than 30 minutes in front of mobile when you go back to your studies after 30 minutes watching mobile you are stressed you are tired during the break you have not taken break actually and that will affect your efficiency if you have to improve your efficiency please ensure the break should actually be for utilizing that time for relaxation if it is not being done you will lose something maybe it may sound little hard for you okay just 30 minutes we are spending on mobile just 30 minutes we are spending here and there no this is the crucial time you have to leave something very special to attain something for if you want to this is where i reminded of mira bhai chanu leaving pizza remember how everybody was yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> that she was dying to have like one slice of pizza and everybody was like kya ho gaya it's just a pizza slice but now you realize that yes. aspect of leaving one thing behind it just gives you a real motivation kick i don't know what else students are and, doing and, and, and if you if you achieve the success you will get lifelong pizza Yes, Absolutely. that's the beauty of success. The same thing P. V. Sindhu told after last Olympic silver medal. Hmm. He also said that her mobile phone was being taken up yeah. just before the, everything. So they have to practice that way. Yes, these things matter. Yeah, I think that what Vivek sir said that um, uh, the users, um, uh, you need to see that how much you can use that. i think which is with you yes. maybe television for example for that matter if you are using it to get refreshed to get rejuvenated maybe you just fix the time slot that okay 30 minutes i want to watch a tv it's no problem the problem is that before those 30 minutes you stop your studies that now i'm going to watch a tv so 10 15 minutes gone there and you are not leaving tv after 30 minutes it's not a 30 minutes problem per se it's a post 30 minute impact which you take again to come back in the rhythm so whatever you are using in your daily life if you have a control over it then it's no problem then it's your slave for example mobile if you have control over yourself that okay i'm going to use or maybe attend my classes through my mobile or i am studying something which is very important for my exam then it's under your control but if you started fobbing there and you started just maybe whatsapp facebook and you are unnecessarily on instagram that's a waste that means now you have gone into the control of mobile so till the time you can control it you can manage so uh, you need to plan these things i know this is very very hard for you to do but my again suggestion to you as you are aspiring this is your dream see you want to qualify ntsc you want to be said as ntsc qualifier i will tell you even the benefit of this examination even in the upsc interviews i have seen a student quoting there that i am ntsc qualified and that has got a weightage there when they were appearing for the ias interviews so this is such a examination it's your dream and if you are not ready to own it then who else will own it absolutely sir and i uh, think one this more is point where... ma'am i would like to add on yes, uh, sir, to the previous question where you were talking about the books as well because i can see few of the students are little worried about syllabus change also from their state boards and i can see that the students like kyova asked like mp board Board, the situation is different. Previously, state board books were different, and now uh, they have gone to NCRT. And it's not only really MP. That's really very good question she has asked for. It's not MP. Many other states have shifted to CBSE uh, syllabus curriculum. Please remember, if it has happened last year or three years back, don't worry. You just understand the difference of the the difficulty level. For example, you are talking about MP. i will say the questions are of little lesser difficulty that means if you consider cbse books completely these are going to help you now when these are shifting to cbse 
which question paper should you follow you can follow delhi delhi question paper you can check for last 3 years that will help you in ecmb part but for social science again you have to go for the previous year your state board paper okay. similarly gujarat has also so institute to see ncert part so again you have to go accordingly so if the state has changed the syllabus don't worry go with delhi part cb because it is following delhi for the tougher papers you can go for other states like haryana has little bit high difficulty level but following cbsc straight away so these are few states where you can follow and another and the sad part i think uh, uh, just to add maybe few point what you said vivek sir in the continuation of that yeah. especially for the sat i think the subjects like biology chemistry or for that matter even in the social science start making some notes take out the events yes. chronology order places names because some of these questions in mcq base the bigger thing is either you know or you don't know means you are not going to write a theory there if you do not know then you do not know it's gone so these are some facts and as vivek sir was saying that most of the questions are easy easy to moderate questions it's not that ntsc questions are very difficult the biggest challenge in the ntsc as far as my understanding is concerned is to cover the syllabus full before the ntsc and appear attempt all the questions two things if you are able to do one thing cover your syllabus well before the ntsc second you are able to attempt all questions because it's a two hour limited examination right 120 minutes only so the exam exam question someone was asking that why the toughness can't be reduced so the questions are not very tough not very tricky they also know that you are in ninth and 10th class and one thing i will just vivek sir will like to highlight that ntsc examination is not finding here any uh, you can say any engineer doctor or ca out of you ntsc is the examination of your aptitude they also know that by november you cannot finish term 2 it's difficult they also know that if you are in cbsc and asking the either you think that ncert people are living somewhere in the third world where they don't know also what's happening in india it's not that they stay with us they know very well the yeah. syllabus of every state but still they designed it why so why the answer is that they want the student with the right set of aptitude so this is the exam of not your any difficulty level knowledge level how much how difficult problem no problems will not be difficult biology chemistry even physics physics you see most of the questions are theory based questions it's not very high application based questions in physics so it's a aptitude based exam two things they want to judge especially in you how much disciplined you are if given a task can you finish it and that's how that's what you need to prove that yes in 3 months i can finish term 1 and term 2 and i can prepare for it and in 2 hours i can attempt 100 questions right wrong or i know or i don't know that's a second thing but i will attempt i will read 100 questions in 2 hours i think vivek sir these are the two points which i feel where ntsc or ncert is mainly looking for uh, the students absolutely and sim i will say because many of the students also ask i'm icsc student how to prepare for that my syllabus is totally different i can see this in chat box also santosh is asking the same question so you rightly mentioned they are not looking for this point and secondly when you are icsc student when you will be comparing the syllabus you will find yes in 9th and 10th most of the topics are there and few of the topics have already been covered in the previous classes you have okay. covered that part part in eighth itself so don't worry you are far ahead the only thing is you need to understand the requirement that's all you can crack, crack it there is nothing difficult for social science you have to go with state yes so sir i think it has been pretty nicely laid out by both of you that only class 10 syllabus would not be the criteria that ntsc is looking for and also one more query which students are really worried about is how much time is essential for ntsc stage 1 preparation like if you look at the whole syllabus what are they really worried about it's the revision time how much time would they need to revise the whole syllabus so if we wake up you could also point out how setting those short term goals to revise that vast syllabus in a span of 3 months if that can also be sorted for them i guess they'll be really happy and satisfied with that response also what would you say to that 
I'm sure uh, our listeners must have heard what Dheera sir said previously some 30 minutes back. He mm-hmm. clearly mentioned when you have two and a half months or three months time, you have to set your timetable. You have to finish entire syllabus of term two also before your term one. That's important. So when you have two months time, there is no question like how much time do I need? You have two months, that's all. Last one month, just keep it for revision. But I'm saying revision, how it will be done? It will be done through mock test papers. Complete syllabus papers, which are specifically designed for your stage one state board NTSC examination. Whether you are from Gujarat, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, any state. You need to go with the mock test papers and these test papers will give you actual insight where you stand. Do the error analysis accordingly. That means last one month is for error analysis and removing those errors which are still there. And you will find that the subject which you say, social science, that's the easiest one, that is creating a trouble. May be possible that you are getting 25 marks out of 40 in the beginning. But if you stick to this complete plan, at the end, you would be approaching towards 40 out of 40. Revision in last one hour. For mental ability, the pointers, which Dheera said in the beginning, mentioned that these are the few topics like direction sense, like series, where they should go in the beginning. That will add on the confidence and will increase the speed of revision as well. It's not only for the paper pattern. It's for the preparation strategy for revision also. Because these questions have more weightage. When these are having more weightage, obviously I have to focus on it more. So yes, two months, complete this calendar. Two and a half months, one month, keep for revision one and one month, 15 days, 20 days. And later on, you will get some bonus time. I'm very sure of it. As you got last year. Definitely, you'll be getting at least 15, 20 days bonus times. So don't worry on it. So be optimistic that the paper is going to be a little bit postponed like the previous yeah. year. Also. There is one more special reason for it. You can see that uh, this uh, term one examination is scattered November mid to December mid. So either it can be done before November or post December 15 or so. When you say before 15 November, then there are many festivals aligned. So little uh, possibility is there. I mean, some possibility is there that it would be shifted. Also, sir, for our class ninth listeners, because they are also intrigued by the very aspect of being a national level scholarship holder, how class nine students can take that little bit edge because they don't really have that threat of time as of now. Do they really get that added advantage by starting a little earlier than class 10? If you could just shed light on that. What he has shared earlier. Yes, sir, please. So yes, ninth students, uh, if uh, if you see even the NTSC paper also, there are some questions for, from ninth standard. Mm. So it's a cumulative thing which comes. And if you are in class ninth, I think this session will be the best session of your complete two-year journey. If you are imbibing and listening what we are saying here in this session for you. So class nine, the best time in which you are for the NTSC. And I believe NTSC should be your one goal post in class 10th. If you start early from 9th, you can finish your 9th way way early than other students. You can take a few chapters of even class 10th, even when you are in the 9th or maybe towards the end end of your 9th. So that because you have heard here in the discussion that NTSC exam usually happens before the term 1 of the class 10th and the complete syllabus of 10th will come. So now you have got a lot of time with you. But again, I will say time and tide wait for none. It passes like anything. It looks like we started 10th, maybe uh, say yesterday and we have completed say two, three months and same, same thing goes and time, time is there for the people who want to waste it. And time is not there for the people who are really very serious for any of the examination or any of the goal in their life. Absolutely, sir. And I think now that we are moving towards the end of our discussion today, I would just like to really help our listeners understand how your mind works. Because unless you provide some bit of cue for a reward, you won't really be attracted to go towards something. And this is where I think Dheeraj would definitely agree. 
unless you give them that aspect of how they'll be rewarded by pursuing something like that, they won't really be equally attracted to it. So if you could just point out for one last time for all our listeners who probably joined in a bit late, what are those key benefits that they should be aspiring for in DSC? What is it that should attract them towards this exam and they should not give up that motivation? What would you say to that, sir? Yeah, I think maybe many of the students would have researched because mm-hmm. I believe I'm sitting in front of the next gen and they must have done the complete uh, Google that why I should prepare for the NTSC. My yeah, I'm sure saying, scholarship amount is something they all know. But I just really wanted to give them that reward factor that this is so much bigger than just a bit yeah. of scholarship amount. So I will, I will, I will tell you that maybe I have seen many of the NTSC qualifiers, stage two qualifiers, towards their fag end of the life when they are in the uh, undergraduates and even in the postgraduate programs, and even they are appearing in various competitive examinations, interviews, even for that matter in UPSC and all. So this is the one examination I will say that NTSC, if I have to say, it's a seed of confidence in your life if it planted well from the beginning then none of the challenge in your life can stop you from achieving anything. Because you see the examination design itself is so beautiful that the, they know that exam uh, final exam is in March and April and still they are asking you those questions and they want you to prepare. And some of the students are preparing. They are qualifying every year. So this is, if I have to say to you in one line, this is the seed of confidence in your life. The first seed till now, whatever you were doing, uh, you qualified 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 9 to 10. They were smaller achievements. Now, NTSC is the one achievement which will you will carry along with you, I think, maybe down the line till your final settlement in the career. Until unless you are not finally settling somewhere. This is the one exam you can quote everywhere that I am NTSC qualifier. And it's valued. If you are going to the US, US scholarship values NTSC. If you are going to triple IIT Delhi, they give you six marks bonus for the NTSC exam. There are various colleges which take direct entry on the basis of NTSC performance. So, and many more things other than the scholarship amount. So this opens channels across the line other than your confidence, which I said, but I believe that you are in the youth phase. What you need to have with you to achieve any dream in the life is the confidence. And this exam for sure can give you that tool. Nothing else you need other than that. You have got all the skills which are needed to become Newton, Einstein or APJ Abdul Kalam in the life. All of you who are listening to me right now. But what you need, you need a spark. You have got the material, right? You you have the gunmetal there inside. Now, what you need, you need a spark. And what is that spark is? Maybe NTSC is the first spark in that line. Absolutely, sir. And I think this is where Vivek sir would also agree because it not only kind of aligns their student growth with higher goals. For example, whether you talk about career in medicine, whether you talk about career in engineering or for that matter, management and law because NTSC scholarship kind of escalates to all those areas as well. So Vivek sir, if you could just also tell our listeners not to only look at NTSC from the perspective of just one national level exam, but from the perspective of preparing yourself as better students. What would you have to say to that, sir? I'm sure whatever Dheeraj sir mentioned, those are actually crisp points Hmm. required to understand why a student should prepare for NTSC. Hmm. The confidence When you talk about number of students appearing for this examination, just Google because everything is available there. You will not be able to find how many actual numbers are there. You have to collate the data state by state. For NEET and JE, 13, 14 lakh students appear every year. Clearly data available. For NTSC, much more than this number. More than 20 lakh, 25 lakh students appear for this examination when you take all states. When you talk about selection, 8,500 seats are there as a quota allotted by NCRT for different states. 
roughly 8,500 to 9,000 students are being taken for a stage two every year out of those more than 25 lakh students. Out of those 8,500 to 9,000, just 2,000 students get this scholarship. Now you understand how unique. If you are an NTS scholar, you understand the value. Even if you are not, you are qualifying stage one, you understand how different you are. Even if you are not able to crack it, don't worry, look at the marks attained and see where you stand. Of the total strength of 10th standard, nearly two crore students write board examination every year. All are not writing it. You see where you stand if you write it. So that confidence, that confidence is important. I'm sure another point which uh, when I was listening to Dina sir, uh, that came to my mind was one uh, quote from Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Uh, you can also recall, like something was like, uh, all birds find shelter during the rain. But what eagle used to do? Eagle avoids rain by flying above the clouds. Problems are common, but attitude makes the difference. So when you are talking about NTS scholar, it's attitude. It makes you difference. And if you want to, what you have to do, go with another quote of Dr. Kalam again. Dream is not something that you see while sleeping. It is something that does not let you sleep. Mm -hmm. Only then you will be able to fulfill. It's not like, okay, I have to become an NTS scholar. It's not going to help you out. I have to work on it. And fortunately, I will say every everywhere, I mean, with every situation, you have an opportunity. I will say this year, syllabus is reduced, rationalized. You have a lot of time. Whether you are in ninth or 10th, you can crack it. So this is all, all the best. Well, I, I feel, I think, Surchi, ma'am, many of the students, maybe uh, breaths have a little bit reduced. So I will ask my all viewers, because we are towards the end. Uh, let's rub yes. your hands, all of you. <laughs> Can we see that? That all of you are rubbing your hands. Take yes. deep breath. Take a very, very deep breath. And then say to yourself that I can do this. Yes. So, uh, because uh, this is what, and I think, Suruchi ma'am, uh, towards the end, I would just like to tell them that if you have to jot it down, that what we discussed in nutshell. So, first of all, what you should do, you should go understand the plan of NTSC exam, what we discussed. You can again listen us over YouTube. We will be there. You can again watch us. Understand the plan of examination, marks distribution, duration, pattern of examination. Then second step, go through the previous year papers. Understand the pattern in reality. Third step can be you procure your books, material. If you are in CBSC, get the state board books, some mental ability practice papers, arrange everything. Make a daily timetable. A timetable which coincides with your target. Target is that we need to finish term two also at least 15 20 days before the final NTSC examination so that we get some time for the revision also. Accordingly, you allocate your hours. There is no success timetable. Timetable varies from person to person. Believe me, if success would have been that easy and so simple that by a timetable, if I can get a success, everyone would have been successful. So it's your timetable. You need to design it that in which subject, which area you are uh, not so strong. You want to want to become strong in that area. So you need to define your timetable, set a timetable. And last thing is that let's take a pledge that I am not going to waste my time. I'm not saying that you will not use mobile or TV or you will not play. My suggestion is not waste time. If you think playing 30 minutes is giving me energy, play. But an answer from where answer will come. The simplest trick to get the answer is that am I doing right thing or wrong thing? There is one person in your house, one object in your house rather. Go and stand in front of a mirror and ask to yourself that I was doing this activity. Was it helpful for me in my exam? And I can guarantee you will get an answer. Mirrors, they never uh, tell a lie. They will always tell you the truth. An answer will come for sure. I'm saying you go and try this today. You stand in front of a mirror, ask to yourself any question. An answer will come from inside.
So let's follow this crisp strategy what we discussed. And uh, believe me, friends, it's possible, very much possible. We can do it in the remaining time period. Thank you so much for your enlightening remarks, sir. I hope all the key points that have been mentioned by both Dheerat, sir and Vivek, sir, in a nutshell, have really opened your minds to the effective methods of learning. Don't just look at it from the perspective of how NTSC is a daunting challenge. I have just uh, entered class 10th. I don't know anything about it. It's pretty much doable. And like how at Akash, we always say, I can and I will is based on your ability to do it. So if you have the ability, have the confidence to go for it. It. just stop making excuses that's it what we have for you today right and i would really like to thank all of you guys for taking our time to attend our session particularly for all the great questions that you sent in i hope you found all the discussion informative and useful and let's go with dheerat sir's pledge right let's stop delaying it let's stop making excuses let's go further and start enacting on it right so thank you so much once again and thank you sir for taking our time for being with us today thank you once again. Yeah, and we wish Thank good luck everyone. to all the students. Yeah. Absolutely, sir. Now, for all of our listeners, I'm going to say goodbye now. But before I do that, just one quick update. Our upcoming uh, webinar on uh, Akash Live webinar series is on the topic of last minute strategy, or I should say last month strategy for JE Advance. Now, I know you obviously have your peers, you have your seniors to spread that message across. So please make sure you check out the link given in the description box and don't forget to share it with your friends and seniors. Thank you once again, guys. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.